Climate change always has been happening. The question really is one of whether there's human-induced climate change, and I think there's more and more compelling evidence that there is, in fact, human-induced climate change. If we look at what, what it is that causes climate change, which obviously are the greenhouse gases, the, the, the question that comes up is, well, what's causing those greenhouse gases? Most of it is caused by what goes on in our homes, our heating our homes, our cooling our homes, and so forth. The next big thing is how we get around. Here in Cambridge, we don't even own a car, my wife and I, so we can ride our bike. But in the United States, we did own a car, and we drove it quite a bit to get back and forth to work. And then the final thing is how we use our land. Um, are we deforesting? Are we having good crop productivity on the land? And, and so forth. They are basically using the air as a garbage dump. And they've been doing this for the last hundred years or so. Everything is accumulating. So we're expecting more droughts, severe weather events, storms. Everyone will be impacted by it but particularly the three billion poorest people in the world, because when you have severe drought, they would lose their income. Carbon is something that is so deeply embedded in our economy, in our provision of energy, that it has simply been almost impossible politically to get people to make the magnitude of change that's been required to reduce the risk of climate change. It's very difficult for me to understand the politics of what's going on. But the thing I want to point out is that all the nations have agreed climate change is a serious problem. So there's no issue there. 97% of the scientific community have agreed that it's, uh, climate change is real. And they agreed it's caused by human activities. And they agreed that if you continue on this business as usual, it's going to get a lot worse. The reason that many climate scientists get pushed towards taking a very firm position on climate, the position being that it is absolutely happening, there is no scientific uncertainty, is that they realize there are very powerful forces on the other side trying to stop climate, uh, climate policies from going forward. I sometimes call it, and then with no pun intended here, there is a church of climate change. You know, and, and in the church of climate change, if one doesn't believe passion that there's anthropogenic climate change and that there must be immediate re reductions in CO2, you're sort of sent off as, as not a, a proper member of the, of the group. Um, but the, the majority of people who work in climate science, who work in climate policy, tend to be a little more centrist in that regard. They tend to think that this is a big enough challenge, a big enough risk, that we shouldn't be placing this risk onto future generations, and therefore, we we need to find a way to institute global climate policy to reduce these risks.